Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2023 and in particular PDF export sorting. Here I have Revit 2023 open and I have a Revit model open and in this particular model there are a whole bunch of uh, sheets and let's go ahead and open up A101 so you can see what it looks like. Prior to 2023 you were able to export to PDF file in 2022. 2021 and older, you could not do this. However, in 2022, when you export to PDF file, you had no control over the sort order and things like that. So in 2023, when I go to file, export PDF, I can do the usual by selecting all the views and sheets that I want. So I'll select all of those. And you'll see the preview window as well if you need to select a particular file. Down in the very, very bottom now, you have the ability to check all, check none, and edit the print order. So if I click edit the print order, I can sort by the following browser organization, sheet number, and manual order. So if you go by sheet order, it's going to look at the sequence of the lettering of the sheets and run it off that method. And since this is a small set and it's pretty straightforward, it automatically figures it out. However, I could click manual order and then I can left click and drag and drop wherever I want to sort that particular sheet. So if you have a very long sheet set list, then you may need to sort this prior to pushing out to PDF. Once you have everything done, click OK, then click select. It'll ask you if you want to save, and I'm going to say no for now. And then once that's done, look at double check the name of the file that you want and locate the place where you want to put it. So for now, I'm going to head over to my demo set location. And since we're doing this for sort order, I'm going to go ahead and create a new subfolder just for the sake of keeping things organized and I'll put it in that subfolder so it'll go to C users my folder and so on and so forth double check down here under size make sure it's zoom 100% so I'm doing full size sheets and since my stuff is <laughs> in color and I like to print out in color I'm gonna click view links in blue that way all these annotations that are smart that are blue will print that way and if any of them show black then that means that you'll know it's not associated to a particular view so you can visually just do a quick check um, other content you may need to adjust things like the raster quality and then the color situation vector or raster processing and then when you're finished click export and then it'll ask if you want to save this session i'm going to say no for now and it will go through and process all the sheets. You'll see in the lower left corner command line the progress, and it tells you in percentage. You can hit cancel or hit escape to break the function and get out of it if you have to. Now that it's finished, it will tell you any warnings you have in the lower right corner. And you can, you know, expand this if you need to and read up on it, figure out what the warning is, and make corrections if you have to. Okay, now that you're done. Uh, if I go to my folder that has that data, you'll see the PDF files subfolder that I made earlier, and you'll see the PDF file. So if I double click it, it'll open up my PDF software. Let's give it a second. And as you can see, it makes all the sheets, and it puts it in the order that we told it to put it in. Also, just so you're aware, these links in blue, when you export the PDF, if you click the link, it will take you to the view. And that's it. That is the new feature for PDF exporting, being able to sort the sheets and the process of going about doing so. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know. And thank you very much for watching.